Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you from SHOT Show 2023 from one of my favorite booths at the show. We're here at MKM with Igor. How are you? Hi, David. I'm doing great. Very good. What about you? you? Tired, but vertical. Yeah, I'm still standing. (laughs) (laughs) We are on the same page. Exactly. (laughs) We've got some really cool stuff on the table in front of us here. Why don't you uh, take us away? Yeah, yeah, sure. So let's start with a new fixed blade. So this is called TPF Defense. TPF stands for Third Swallow Pocket Fixed. So this is the first of a series of knives that we will do with mm-hmm. different shapes, with different things. And we started with these that probably some of you recognize where this design come from. Mm-hmm. And uh, we really like the, the old and the original design, but we wanted to make it pocketable. Right. So right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a classic Trizola shape. Yeah. But not never has been this small as far as I know. It's exactly. always been the larger size. Exactly. Yes, yes. So, and in order to make it uh, easy to carry in your pocket, we will sell it together with our leather sheath with magnetic lid. So, as we do with the macro and mm-hmm. with the other pocket fixed plates. <clears throat> the steel is MagnaCut. You have different blade finishing and different handle materials. The version will be five There's in total. There is a Tetsuola style, completely the Tetsuola style yeah, with like yeah. uh, micarta and be blasted. Kind of the matte finish for it, yeah. Exactly. We have uh, Santos with satin finish, carbon fiber with satin finish. G10 will be stone washed. Excellent. And the one in my head that probably is my favorite one <laughs> is a dark metal red carbon fiber and will be with PVD coated and then stone washed. So a Blackstone wash. Nice, nice. Yeah. Man, they feel really good in the hand. Like sometimes when you, I feel when you shrink a bigger design down, the handle doesn't always work, but this works. I mean, it, there's plenty to hold on there for like a bigger grip without having a huge handle on there. That's really nice. You have a lot of gym pigs around, oh, as, as usual for our, for our fixed blades, mm-hmm. all crown spine. So very, very comfortable, very yeah. easy to, to, to handle. Yeah, that's nice. It's not, it, it's not like, it's not rough. No. But it gives you, a, it gives you that traction. I didn't even yeah. notice it actually until you, no, you no, just no. mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, we, we tried to make, we left it because in the original one that we had that gym pigs. Yeah. I tried to make them less invasive as, as possible, yeah. let's say. Yeah. No, that's really cool. Um, you didn't mention the blade steel on this yet. It's you? Magna Cut. Did you say it? Yeah, yeah. probably. Oh, it's <laughs> Magna Cut. But it's Magna Cut. It's Magna Cut. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and the pricing on these, so I think the most expensive one is this, and this is going to be just under $200. And these other ones will be a little bit less. Yeah. So. From $170 to $200, let's say. That's for it. a Lion Steel made, because Lion Steel's building these for a Lion Steel made fixed blade in Magna Cut. That's not a bad deal. That's a pretty good I deal. Think I think it's a great deal. I mean, I I'm, would I would buy one. I'm going Personally. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you folks know I love pocket fixed blades. You know I love pocket yeah, fixed yeah. blades. So this we know is that. this is uh, yeah, this is right up my alley. Yep. That is really cool. I like the the still has the nice long swedge on it. That is going to be very efficient slicing through material right there. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, approved? <laughs> I, it's, it's really good. It's approved. The thing is, though, I also really like this folder. Yeah. And I'm not sure which one I like more. <laughs> it, I am in the same position. Something. Yeah. I, am, I am in the same position. So this new folder is called Eclipse. It's designed by Jasper Boxness. Uh, we speak again about Magna Cut steel. We have a titanium frame lock with overlays. And the overlays change it between the versions, like we have carbon fiber and titanium at the mm-hmm. moment, and maybe we will have other in the future. And on the handle, we did this little cutout at the hand. So then this is, is basically our logo, mm-hmm. you know, the mountains on, on our logo. Uh, to me, it's, I, when I saw the samples of this one, I was really, really amazed. Mm-hmm. I was just, I like it. Yeah. You know, I don't have anything to say against yeah. that. And probably the thing that I like most of this is the blade shape. It's, you have a lot of belly, you have a lot of blade. It's a very graceful shape. I mean, just 
I've, I've said this on the channel before too, it's hard to make a drop point kind of look distinctive and you know, there, there's other blade shapes out there that definitely have more kind of sex appeal. Yeah. But the lines on this are very, very nicely considered. The belly's nice where the drop starts there. It, it takes everything I like about his Bellone design, which is under Viper's name. Yeah. A little bit smaller, drop point shape, which is more what I do, what I enjoy, and it's a winner. And and in this case, you have uh, so you have flipper opening with bow bearings, and the action is you can tell what the action is. Yeah, I mean, they, it's one of those things that you can hear too coming through. Yeah, the microphone, hopefully. That was good. We synchronized. Yeah, it was very well. Okay, um, and, so, and you have also the hole if you wanna like. Oh, I missed that. It's okay. <laughs> if you wanna flip that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Really yeah we nice. would have four versions, and two would be with black blades, mm -hmm. and two one would be setting and one stone washed. So with with this knife, we can play a lot with versions because having this, you know, right. overlay thing. It's, yeah, it's not structural. Exactly. You can just change that, and you have another another version. Yeah. But so we decided to go out with four at the beginning, and then we will probably think about others in the future. It's very nice. And uh, what are the, the pricing on these knives looking like? So it's 220 for the, let's say, gray blades, the, not the, coated blades. The, the base version? Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And 230 for the black blades ones. So even this one that has the, uh, the carbon fiber inlay, same uncoated yeah. price, basically? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, it feels great. I mean, this is obviously going to be a great kind of like a formal knife, a gentleman's knife. But any kind of everyday carry where you don't need a huge blade, you just want something that's graceful, it's a winner. You know what? This will probably become my personal stick knife. I, I can, oh, yeah, sure. I can see me cutting through steak with, yeah, with this. Yeah, the way that belly drops exactly. down and you have so much of it, that's going to work great at that kind of angle. Exactly. But then you got to clean the pivot. Yeah. A good pocket fixed blade would be better. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So the last new we have is called Love. That uh, is L-O-V. And uh, in, our, in our local language, it means wolf. And it sounded so good. <laughs> Call a knife Love. Yeah. In English. So, yeah. yeah, that's it. Anyway. For this one, we decided, uh, so the idea behind this knife is to make a user knife, mm -hmm. something that you really would take with you and hard use that. And if you break, if you lose it, break it, whatever, you, you won't cry that much. Because You're not gonna cry point is, like if you did yeah, the same exactly, to this exactly, one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And uh, so to make that, uh, we decided to go with a backlog, a standard old backlog. Classic. Reliable. I didn't want an uh, advanced backlog. I want to have something that is classic in the spirit, let's say, in the mind. Yeah. But then in the look, it's a, it's a little bit modern because yeah. you have colors and uh, different blades, yeah. uh, finishing and whatever. And the thing with a, a classic backlog like that, lock like that, also is everybody knows how to use it. Yeah. Like exactly. it be, whether you're 80 years old or eight years old, you know how to use that lock. Yeah. yeah. And uh, with a reversible pocket clip, mm -hmm. it's completely ambidextrous, obviously. And yeah, that's that's the idea on this one. And you have like five different versions. Two will be coated blade, and the other one will be stone washed with different colors. And that is a, a sturdy blade there. Yeah. Plenty thick. Yeah. It's a, it's a four, four millimeter thick. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to make that because I want that to be resistant. You, yes. can, you have to rely on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is. And, and the, good. one one good thing, or at least a curious thing, is that we don't have any liners on this. Mm -hmm. So the we have been able to find the right the right mixture of plastic elements for the FRN mm -hmm. to have these scales that are really really. Robust. I wouldn't even realize. You had, I, I figured it had inset liners in it. Yeah. I mean that. I'm gonna try to flex it there. It's barely moving. Solid. Yeah. Very solid. So solid handle, solid blade. N690 material. Uh, yeah. And a solid price point. Yeah. So that this will be out for 69.90. Very nice. For the so, for the uncoated or for the coated blades? Both. Both. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean that's that's less or right around your uh, the uh, Asanzo. 
Exactly. Price. It's less than yes. that. And this is, it may not be as, as fancy steel as some of those, but this is more knife. Yeah. Wow. This is a knife that you really can use. Yeah. Use and abuse. Yeah, like, exactly. You don't care. You can be just, yeah. don't, not, not be careful not, where you're pointing it when you do yeah, that. Yeah, no, exactly. That's, that's great. That and, is going to be a real nice And don't piece. abuse it too much. <laughs> just a little bit. The appropriate <laughs> amount. Very cool. Very cool. So we've got the love. The Trizola knife and the, uh, the the TPF defense. TPF defense. Uh, yeah. And I forgot the name of this already. Yeah. I and just know e I like it. Eclipse. Eclipse. That's right. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Well, that's all we've got for uh, MKM this year. Some really nice stuff. You you're gonna get some of my dollars for these for sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let us know what you thought, and you can check out the links in the description to take you over to our MKM page at KnifeCenter.com. This stuff should be showing up uh, hopefully real soon. You can get your orders in there as soon as they pop up. Igor, thank you so much. Thank you, David. Appreciate your time. Keep sticking around for some more SHOT Show coverage. Mm -hmm.